Hello everybody, Mickey Day here from Mickey Day Models. Okay, this is video two for my fun build that I'll be doing right now. This is the old Ravel Classic 1350 scale Coast Guard Cutter East Wind, or the Wind Class. Okay guys, <clears throat> I'm going to let this thing dry for the night. Yesterday I, I completed the hull halves together. Well, hell, they're done anyway. I went ahead and did the painting. And I put the bootstriping on there. I painted black. Put pinstripe on there like at the mast of the boot line. Uh, boot line. The mast above the, above the pinstripe tape. The pinstripe down below, I went and painted red oxide. Okay. With this camera, it's friendly. I'll bring it over as close as I can to you. Before I do that, I'll, I'll point out some items I've done. I went ahead and add some weathering on here. Alongside the hull, I added rust. I used pastels. And I probably used some washes too. I also gave the rails a good wash too. I used, uh, a, to me, a panel line stuff. What it did, it more or less um, highlighted the areas. When it dries, I gave it a. a one, when it dried, I went in with a Q-tip, going up and down like this, and took off the, the, some of the, uh, the the panel lines and simulate the stanchions. You'll see it close as I bring the camera up, close to the camera. On the hair decks, I airbrushed them first with uh, Tamiya teak, deck teak wood. I let it dry. All these deck surfaces that I've got here before you. I went ahead and I primed the first with, with flat white paint. All the parts have been pre-painted already on the sprues. With, with uh, I went and got cheap. Went ahead and used an aerosol can to have an airbrush. It's quicker. The color's not quicker than an airbrush does. Since it's all white, no big deal. So I went ahead and painted all the parts. So I used an aerosol using uh, using flat white. Okay, at these all parts from primed. Same thing, the hole is primed too as well. I went ahead and airbrushed uh, that deck teak wood by Tamiya paints. Let it dry. Let it dry. I gave it a wash of uh, a tan. I mean, I mix a tan and brown wash together. I gave this all this decking here a complete wash, so it stands up pretty well. Then lastly, tomorrow I'll go ahead and pick out the areas, all the deck furniture like the bits, bollards, chain plates, uh, the five-inch side uh, 38. The mount can be painted black, and all the bits can be all black. All the deck fittings are going to all be black. The brake waters are going to be white. They'll snap in there the hole. If you worry about uh, I'm doing it in there, it just snaps in there. Okay. Oh muscle this thing over to you close to the camera as I can you can see how on the rails right there how the relief shows get a wash inside there's details on the inside too and the same thing now I got some white pastel chalk <coughs> I'm gonna go back over again with some pastel chalk I already this thing is all dull completely it was lost at first, and I went ahead and, and dulled it out. Then with some chalking there, it'll bring out more brilliance of the stanchions on the rails right here. I didn't put the screws on yet. I kind of like the way I got this camera positioned now. It shows pretty much of the model look close and a little distant here until I get a my camcorder. That's going cheap using washes on those rails. Lauren Perry gold metal models and also uh, Tom's model works. They make a, a 1350 scale rail set for this so if you want to do the route I do it did you take a good sharp number 11 blade 
and you just go ahead and cut these rails off and, uh, and add your photo etch rails on there. I'll let them on there. I'm going to highlight them a little bit more with some white chalk. Then I'm going to probably add a little more weathering by using some oils in some areas. It's coming out quite nicely. I'm liking this thing. I'm going to add just a little more orange oils in there. Bring it out a little more. Then after that, just go ahead and piece her together and uh, put it together and it builds itself. I've never built this before. I built the uh, the Navy version, which is the Burton Island. I think everybody's pretty much with that. But I do know Ravel, which they, right here, is they released the East Wind. And also the Burton Island. This could be the East Wind, the North Wind, the South Wind, West Wind. It could be, uh, it's all wind class. I think this is circa probably late 1950s. But somehow they changed a lot during, uh, during the years. When they started having that hash mark across there they used, that red and uh, blue and white hash mark they used. The stacks and cranes are going to be all buff color. Using this international uh, day glow red orange color, which the chopper's already painted, primed for white already. So all I got to do is airbrush this on it, and, and that'll make the chopper look uh, Antarctic, which it is. This thing is very highly detailed. For its age, it's it, it's it's a, it's a one of kind of model. And it's a classic. And it's not very hard to build. Just take your time. Like I've been working on this now for about two, three days now. I got this far on it. And tomorrow I'll be ready to slap this bad boy together. I actually have this thing done by about four or five days. And uh, I'll, then I'm going to hop on the, uh, the USS Iowa, which is a 1950s, uh, uh, nifty 50s paint job I'm going to do on it. That was done. Give me one second, guys, and look at the uh, east wind here. I can let this darn dog out. This dog drives me nuts. Yeah, so it's not very hard to build. It's very simple. Because, you know, a kid can build this thing with no problem. And, um... The thing has a lot of detail. It's a pretty detailed model. I'm going to use sprue for the rigging. And, uh, I'm gonna, like I say, I got the 1950s. I got the, uh... The Navy log over here. I think I showed you a video of one. I mean, working on that. And something else I'm going to show you too, I'm going to probably be working on too. I broke out of storage yesterday. I can pick this now. I'll pick this is the best way to pick it up right here. This is my USS Maine. This is a paper model by Heinkel Models. Finish her up. This thing came out really nice. All out of paper. I can do a little painting up over here a little bit and start piecing the rest together. These big old 10 inch bar bits, they move. It's weird. It's weird the design in those days, how they made these things. Well, what, 1890, what, 1888? No, no. It was 1889 when this thing was launched. Remember the main. We went to well, war of Spain over this thing when it blew up. 
course, the tensions were very high in, in Spain at the time anyway. It wouldn't matter if it blew up or not, we still ended up going to war with these people. That was a cakewalk out there. That was a splendid little war, that was. I think what casualty rate was a little over 300. Most of them were the deceased on the main. Okay, let's get back to the icebreaker, the, the, the uh, east wind. Okay, so I'm going to probably do this, like I say tomorrow, I'm going to give these decks another, more just some oils here and there on it, bring it out. I'm going to pop it in, get all the super structures all together, so I'm going to give it a wash here and there, do some painting. Get the symbols that go along. And uh, probably by uh, this Wednesday, I'll have a, a update, probably be on the ways of being done by then. That's what I'm thinking. Tomorrow's Monday, so I got nothing but time building these models, working on them, guys. Have a good time. <coughs> okay. Uh, I don't think I have anything more. Yeah, that's about it, guys. I'll probably be hopping that Langway pretty soon, too. So I got a lot of work done. I'm really enjoying building these old 1950 models. So this is going to be a nifty 1950 series. Then I'm going to have a little Chopper Madness coming up. I got a Aurora released by the good folks from Atlantis Models, the old Army Mule, the old Piyosaki, H-U-P. And uh, so I got that coming your ways, too. Show it too good on the camera. Pulling pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Let's come along, fellas. Okay, it's time for you to get out of here right now. I'm gonna set this camera up over yours truly. You haven't seen my face yet, so I'm getting now, so I'm kind of experimenting a little bit with um, this camera here. I kind of like it right here because it it's out of the way for one thing, and it gives you more more of an area to work uh, to, to show. Okay, this is it for the uh, U the USS Coast Guard Cutter East Wind. Is it for me? Make mama happy, take care of the little ones, stay focused when you drive, spin wisely, and uh, get yourself a model, it's getting warm outside, and uh, enjoy life, guys, when things are, are going to be picking up for us, most certainly. And with God's prayer and everything, we'll, we'll get everything back in order again, get this country back in shape again. And uh, I'm pretty optimistic too, about everything. You guys are going to be very surprised what's going to happen. I'm very optimistic. Okay, I'm optimistic about this build. I shall resume on tomorrow. Okay, again, this is Frankie Dave from Frankie Dave Model signing off. And thank you again for all my new subscribers and your wonderful comments. Oh, yeah, one of my commenters uh, mentioned uh, on video one. Want to know what kind of cigars I smoke? I smoke, I smoke Cuban, Cuban cigars. And, uh,. That's all I smoke, they're good cigars. So I get those down there at Tobacco Stop. Runs about $80 for a big old stack of them. Look, look like a stick of dynamite. Like a bunch of dynamite. Big sticks of them. That's my cigars I smoke. Okay, it's time for you to get out of here. I can prepare and go to bed. And I got a big amount of work tomorrow. And then I should have another adventurous day and working on my Coast Guard cutter. My Coast Guard icebreaker. East Wind. Okay, this is Frankie Day signing off. And we'll catch you guys on the um, 
a video three on the East Winds, so stay posted for that. And uh, thank you very much again for your wonderful candor and your comments. This is Frankie Day from Frankie Day Model signing off. We'll catch you guys in video three.